All right, what is up guys? It is Josh back with another video and today's video I'm gonna be focusing on editing editing softwares and what software is actually the best out there right now And I want to remind you guys this is completely 100% my own opinion if You guys can tell by the thumbnail I'm actually gonna be talking about DaVinci Resolve and the main reasons that I picked this are its accessibility to users Its price point and its ability to actually be used at a beginner level I am gonna be covering this in depth as well as showing the different features of the software But if you guys do enjoy the video you want to support me it is 100% free. It helps me out a lot and we're closing in on 100,000 subscribers. So with that being said, I hope you guys learned something throughout the video and I will see you guys on my PC. Alright guys, so I have DaVinci Resolve opened up right now and my main point about the software that I love so much is that if you actually head on over to their website, it is 100% free for anyone to download. If you just download the free version, 100% free, no restrictions on that. You can edit videos fully, unlimited timelines, unlimited effects. It's just insane. So that's the number one reason why I love DaVinci Resolve and I feel like that's the main reason why you should use it to start editing. So I'm just going to quickly show you. I'm going to start up a new project. I'm going to name it whatever and then I'm going to go create. And in my opinion, DaVinci Resolve just offers almost everything that every paid software does as well. By that, I mean quality offerings, effect offerings, color grading offerings, flexible render settings, just absolutely everything that you could need in an editing software. The first thing I'm going to display is their effect category. So for example, DaVinci Resolve comes with a bunch of different effects. These can be placed on either the clip directly or adjustment clips. And then if we navigate down here to open effects, this is where we have all all of our different plugins as well as the built-in DaVinci Resolve effects. So the cool thing about DaVinci Resolve that you can't really get on any other free editing software is that it supports Sapphire plugins, Universe plugins, BCC plugins, almost everything that you could name. You can install on a software like After Effects, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve supports it, which is great. So this is awesome if you're doing gaming montages, for example, or you're just editing Fortnite videos. Like you can see, I have all the BCC effects right here. I have all the Sapphire effects right here, and then I have all my Universe stuff. And DaVinci Resolve, also offers third-party color correction software such as Magic Bullet Looks, which is insane on top of their amazing, amazing built-in color correction feature in their software, which is just insane. The main thing that I want to point out is DaVinci Resolve software and its user-friendly introduction to the concept of keyframing. So for example, I'm going to be showing you this. I'm going to just drag in a random clip. We'll go into the Fusion tab, which is the tab that allows you to add almost every single effect and alter the keyframing. And DaVinci Resolve also has a graph which can be great for different movement effects or just animation in general which you don't see on a lot of softwares premiere pro doesn't really offer a feature like this that is as practical and neither does Sony Vegas. So for example, if I were to add something like Blur Mo Curves, which is a Sapphire plugin, and I wanna go here, I wanna add it in, and I wanna set two keyframe values. So let's say we keyframe it at one, and then we keyframe it at 0.5, which is a zoom in. We can see the spline feature right here actually gives us the ability to edit a graph just like we would in something like After Effects. So for example, if we wanted to edit a sharp graph like this, it's just a great free alternative to all those paid softwares that you could be wasting your money on. And this video is not sponsored at all. I'm just just speaking from experience as I love this software and it's done so much for me. DaVinci Resolve also allows you to directly slide keyframes along in the position that they were, which can be really useful if you're just copy pasting presets over and you want to adjust the positioning, which is absolutely great. And you can do almost everything in terms of effects that you can do in any software. The next thing I'm going to show you is the built-in color grading feature. So the cool thing about this, obviously you'll be able to do this in other softwares, but you can directly adjust something like the hue or the saturation, the highlights the shadows and the color boost, which is a great feature inside of DaVinci Resolve. And DaVinci also allows you to keyframe the color correction so it slightly alters it throughout a clip, which I find is a great feature in itself. DaVinci also supports features such as masking. So if I wanted to do something like this and add like a mask, let's say, I can mask out a character, set it as a new node, and just have a different layer completely, which is something that I haven't seen in any free software. And then DaVinci also offers built-in audio editing features such as the Fairlight tab, or you could directly do it in the Fusion tab or the Edit tab, which is something absolutely insane. And I just find this software extremely practical for people as it has an extremely beginner-oriented appearance to it, which I feel like is great if you're just getting new to editing because you will end up getting intimidated by the appearance of other softwares. And then if we come here to the Deliver tab, which is the Render tab, you can change the file name, you can change the format, the codec, 
the frame rate, resolution, quality, which is the bit rate, and then you could also edit other advanced settings, your audio settings. And then there's also built-in presets if you don't want to mess with things too much and you want to just have a solid 1080p YouTube video come out. And those are just numerous reasons why I love this software so, so much. So with that being said, I kind of just wanted to provide this video as an informative tool for you guys when you're making a selection in terms of what editing software you want to start out on, whether you're doing a school project or you want to start editing your own YouTube videos because you want to save money or you want to start editing your own YouTube videos because you're starting a channel. DaVinci Resolve has it all and it comes in at a price of zero dollars, which means you have to put up an initial investment of absolutely nothing when you start out, which can be awesome considering you won't really be making that much on YouTube when you start out. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, leave them below this video and I'll be answering some of them. And this video is going to be part of a new series that I'm starting on the channel based around reviewing editing softwares and their accessibility to users as well as its functionality. So stay tuned for future videos like that on the channel. But if you guys did enjoy the video, you found it helpful, or maybe you learned something new, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate any sort of feedback whatsoever. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I will see you guys in a future video on the channel. Peace out.